The murder suspect that police arrested after hitting him with a cruiser in the S-curve last fall made a brief appearance in a Wyoming courtroom today. His case will be moving forward to trial. 24-Hour News 8's Barton Dieters was there today and brings us the latest now from Studio Control. Barton? Well, Sue, the 33-year-old suspect in this case is charged with killing a young mother and trying to kill police officers. Adam Nolan is still wearing the cast on his right arm nearly four months after he was struck by a police cruiser after he crashed his car on 131's S-curve while trying to escape from the law on September 27th. Nolan is accused of killing Tia Mae Randall, a 27-year-old mother of two at Creekside Estates Mobile Home Park in the 600 block of Spruce Lane. That's near the intersection of Clyde Park Avenue and 54th Street. Randall's children were both at school at the time she was killed by what police say was a single shot to the head by a handgun. Nolan led police on a chase throughout southern Kent County before crashing the vehicle and getting out of the car shooting at police officers. Since his arrest, Nolan has been found competent by a state forensic psychologist to stand trial on charges of open murder, attempted murder, fleeing, and felonious use of a firearm. Nolan said at the time of his arrest that he would be seeking charges against police, but he was quiet Wednesday in Wyoming District Court, where Assistant Kent County Prosecutor Bonnie Prevett told the court that there were no plea offers on the table at this point. Now Nolan faces life in prison if convicted, and he remains in the Kent County Jail without bond. In studio control, Bart Dieters, 24-hour news 8.